These tiny creatures are so beautiful, diverse, and are the key architects of the entire ecosystem. But today, these little creatures who run the world are in grave danger. Hello, I'm Monal. Growing up in a city, my world is a mix of dreams and chaos. But my heart belongs to my village. My parents, well educated, moved to the city as part of their job, leaving behind generations of farming stories in our ancestral village. A visit to our village, even for a day, is an adventure in itself. A voyage from the bus of the city life to the calm embrace of the countryside. My grandparents work hard in the fields. That was the only job they knew. The land is their canvas, and every furrow, every seed, was a stroke of their artistry. At times, I joined them, donning a rustic farmer's attire, or simply sitting and watching the colors, patterns, innocent people, or the lives around us. But what captivated me the most were the insects. The enchanting world of buzzing bees, delicate butterflies, the glossy winged ordinates, and the intricate beetles. I'd spent hours marveling at their colors and their intricate patterns. They are so bountiful and diverse. Yes, insects are the most diverse group of living organisms and they take up more than half of the living kingdom with over 1.5 million species. They play a vital role in their ecosystem by performing a wide range of tasks including soil aeration and turning, dung burial, pest control, providing food for birds, mammals and amphibians, pollination, nutrient cycling, etc. They enable the maintenance and dynamic equilibrium of ecosystems by providing these essential services. Yes, those tiny beings held secrets to the delicate balance of nature. I was a humble spectator to their presence, diversity, and adaptations. But as years went by, there are big changes happening in my village too, as elsewhere. High pesticide use, changing agriculture practices, loss of microhabitats including home gardens, water bodies, and the very insects that had been my companions were slowly declining. Scientists noticed decline of butterflies, moths, bees, beetles, and so many insects worldwide. And this decline they are calling the global insect apocalypse. However, in a developing country like ours, there's a shortage of population data to compare and to establish the decline. The causes of this insect decline have been attributed to human actions 
and to associated climate and global ecological changes. We may not be able to attribute a single reason for the decline in the insect populations, as it can vary across distinct groups and their environments. Intensified and expanded agriculture, leading to habitat destruction and landscape fragmentation, alongside industrialization, urbanization, and artificial lighting, have emerged as significant factors contributing to the decline of insects. Insects are an integral part of life on Earth, and their decline have serious implications on the very existence of human life. Insects pollinate more than 75% of global crops, worth several billions a year. In nature, about 80% of wild plants rely on insects for pollination. So, their declines have serious implications for global food security. Apart from the loss of ecosystem services, insect loss has many ecological concerns. In ecological terms, there is something called cascade effect. The decline of insects can lead to rapid decline of insectivorous birds and amphibians. There are several uh, reports from the, uh, of such bird declines from the European countries. Much has to be done to prevent further decline of insects and, of course, general biodiversity. We need to have long-term monitoring data on insect numbers and also on their diversity, the role of key drivers, impact of pesticides, climate change, etc. need to be studied in detail. My grandmother, who continues to toil in the fields, remains largely unaware of these declines. This lack of awareness extends to policy and decision makers who appear to show limited concern. The urgency is apparent. We must strive to enlighten all the stakeholders on the role of insects as crucial components of functioning ecosystems. It is also important to develop insect-friendly farming systems and other insect-friendly solutions to farmers. We, as individuals, must also take up efforts to protect the tiny creatures that rule our world. Simple initiatives such as planting native plants in our garden, avoiding the use of synthetic pesticides, Maintaining flowering plants in our garden. Maintaining dead woods, which act as important habitat for many insect species. Turning off unnecessary lights at night, etc. can go a long way. The future of our planet hangs on the balance created by the insects in nature. Coexistence is the only way, and a world without insects would be an extremely dire place to live in. <laughs>